When you first learn how to strengthen your singing voice by getting your vocal cords to come together more firmly, it can become more difficult to sing from chest voice, your low notes, to head voice, your high notes. Inside this video are some exercises that will help you make this transition easier and keep the vocal cords adducted firmly. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You may have sung for a few years with a soft and breathy tone. When you begin to get the vocal cords to adduct more firmly, you might find it difficult to sing from chest to head voice. The reason is your vocal cords were lax enough. You couldn't feel the first bridge, but when the cords firmly adduct, you definitely begin feeling this transition from chest to head voice. In fact, you might begin pulling your chest voice too high, or flipping, or breaking. Here are some exercises to keep your voice moving smoothly from chest to head and back. These exercises will also help maintain a firm connection of the vocal cords. This exercise uses the word gi. Like the others you did in episode 89, make sure that you say the G firmly like this, g, g, gi. This time we'll use the octave repeat scale and the one and a half scale with the gi. First, the octave repeat. Men begin on the A flat three and the women begin on the C sharp four. Both voices go down four half steps and back up. It sounds like this. Gi, 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 gi. Men begin. Now ladies. Ready begin. Next do the gi with the one and a half scale. Men begin on the B2. Women begin on the F sharp three. Both voices go up three half steps and back down again. It sounds like this. Gi, 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 gi. All right, men. Now ladies. Be sure to say the G, G, firmly on each note. The reason for the G, G, is to help the vocal cords adduct firmly and stay connected into head voice and back to chest. If you find that you disconnect into falsetto, add a slight dopey sound to the G, like this. G. 
Flight dopey sound. Gee, gee, gee. Only add as much as you need to keep the cords connected. Once you're able to do it connected, discontinue the dopey sound, which is the imposition of the larynx. If you're straining, it's likely the larynx is rising. Add the dopey sound to counteract the rising larynx, like this. It's not a tight sound like this. It's relaxed, but full of overtones. Do them medium or medium soft at first. Use the dopey gi in a song. Substitute it for the words until the breathiness is gone or the straining or break is eliminated. Then put the words back into the song. Gi, gi, gi. And substitute the words back into the song. Doing these exercises will help keep the vocal cords together while the pitches and resonance move from chest to head voice and back. It will also help the vocal cords balance with the air from the lungs and the chest, middle and head registers. This is important because this is where you sing songs. Once you begin to experience the new power in your voice, because the vocal cords are coming together firmly, it's easy to start pulling the chest voice higher. This would mean you started with a light chest, no chest vocal type, and now you're a pulled chest high larynx. Do you know your vocal type right now? I'm not referring to whether you're soprano, alto, tenor, or bass. Your vocal type is what you tend to do when you sing. Visit PowerToSing.com and take the vocal test which I call the power test. Take the quiz and discover your vocal type. Visit the Knowledge Center and watch all the videos about your vocal type. Download the free exercises and start practicing them. They will help your voice improve quickly. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video.